Good afternoon, everyone. There's... Thanks a lot for making the time. Uh, so, my name is Adrian Cohen. Uh, I'm a co-founder of Tractable. We're an artificial intelligence company dedicated to auto damage appraisal. So I'm here today to talk about artificial intelligence and computer vision applied to damage assessment. So a little bit of context. Um, 2014 was a historic moment in artificial intelligence. Computers surpassed human accuracy in image classification. So what that means is that computers can now see better than humans. And because assessing damage to a car is essentially a visual task, we believe that soon computers will be doing that. The auto repair estimate underpins the entire collision ecosystem. It decides which repairs gets made, the parts and paint that gets purchased, the cars that gets recycled um, and salvaged. It's a growing market projected to hit $200 billion by 2020. And it's going to be completely transformed by artificial intelligence. For the past two years, we have been working with Mitchell International, uh, our partner, to pioneer AI algorithms. And that's what I'm here to show you today. So here, what you can see on the screen is uh, our interface, which is loaded with an AI that has seen hundreds of millions of images of damaged vehicle. It's literally combining the experience of thousands of auto repairer into one single intelligence. So what we're going to do today in real time is upload a few pictures to this AI and see how it makes sense of the damage. So what we want to do is ask the AI to tell us what's the damage like on all the front part of of the car, the front bumper, the fenders, the headlamps, and the hood. So I'm going to select this Honda, for instance. And I'm going to first indicate to the system what is the VIN number of the car, so it knows what vehicle it is, and it pull the right part prices, etc. I'm then going to drag and drop all those pictures of a Honda uh, which were taken shortly after the incident. So it's typical pictures taken right after the incident, all those pictures. So I'm dropping all of those pictures, and now we're seeing the AI starting to make sense of all those images. So what you're seeing here is real time. The AI is grouping all the images that contain the parts that we're interested in. So in this case, it's been able to group the pictures that contain a hood, a left fender, a right fender, a front bumper, a left headlamp, and a right headlamp. Let's double click on one of those parts. Those are all the pictures that the AI thinks are relevant when it comes to understanding whether a front bumper is present or not on a picture. As you can see, those pictures have a lot of variation. They have different viewpoints, different lighting. On some, the hood is popped open some are from a different angle. All of those pictures are expressing the intelligence of the AI of making sense of what's in the, in the photo. I insist that a few years ago, that was simply not possible. A computers would have been misled by all those differences in terms of environment. But here, our AI has properly categorized all those pictures, indicating that the front bumper is present. Same thing for the left fender. Here is the only picture that contains the right fender. So it's made sense of the part understanding. But obviously, that's just the first part. Now, what we want the AI to do for us is to behave like an actual expert. We want the AI to assess the damage severity to those parts and tell us what would be the right repair operation, i.e., would you repair a panel or would you replace it? That's where the expertise really kicks in. So I'm now asking the AI to go through all those photos and assess the damage severity to each of those parts. And here you can see again, in a few seconds, the AI has already gone through all those photos and it's made its decision. It would repair the left fender, it would replace the left headlamp and the front bumper, 
and it considers the fender and the headlamp to be undamaged. So here, in a few seconds, the eye, learning from all the images it's seen before, has assessed the damage severity to this part. It's gone through the photos, it's looked at the scratches, the dents, the displaces on the, on the parts, and based on this severity score, it has decided on whether repairing or replacing a part is the right operation. Let's double click on one of those parts. Let's continue to have a look at the bumper, for instance. So indeed, you can see that the bumper is a bit displaced. There's a few scratches, dents. It's probably not safe to repair it. And so DI thinks as you know, a car expert that it should be replaced. The left fender, though, has much less severe damage. And because of this assessment, DI thinks it's probably safe to simply repair this panel. Now. We all know that making a decision on repairing or replacing a part is not just a matter of damage assessment. There are other questions that come into play. For instance, the, the part price, the labor rate. Well, thanks to our partner Mitchell, we also have discovered. Now, we complete the analysis on all the front parts that we're interested in, and we put all the pieces together, and we can then produce a first estimate of the cost to take care of all those six panels. So if you take a step back, what you've seen is in a few seconds, the AI understanding which part are present or not in a picture, making a damage assessment, and indicating the cost to take care of those parts. But what really makes those algorithms unique is that they're universal. They work in any condition whether it's indoors or outdoors, whether it's sunny or overcast. You know, they, they can cope with any car model, and that's what makes them so powerful and so compelling. Let's have a look at a second example. We're going to do the exact same thing with another car in different condition. We're going to ask the AI to go through the pictures, group the pictures that have the frontal parts that we're interested in, assess the damage severity, predict the right repair operation, and eventually come up with an indication of the cost. So I'm going to choose another claim, this time a Toyota, for instance. So same process. I'm inputting the VIN number. I'm looking at this Toyota. You have different pictures again. Some are indoors. Some are outdoors. The color is different. The viewpoint, the lighting, everything has changed. So again, now the system is going through all those photos live. And in a few seconds, we have the results again. It's been able to properly categorize all the photos that have the right parts, the left fender, the right fender, the bumper, the hood, and the headlamps. So here, for instance, you have all the pictures that the system considers to be uh, including a hood. Now we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to ask the AI to go to those photos, produce a damage severity score, and come up with the right repair decision. And again, here in a few seconds, we have the result. Different car, different condition, same algorithm able to deal with uh, all those variation. So here, the hood should probably be replaced, and indeed, you can see that it's displaced, and so it's probably not safe to repair it. That is the learning of the AI, and it's applying its intelligence exactly like a car expert would. Similarly, the left fender here seems to be presenting a light damage, so it thinks it's repairable. The right fender has no visible damage, and so it considers the right fender to be undamaged. We can wrap this up by asking the AI to pull all the pieces together, pull up the data on this specific vehicle model, and come up with a cost assessment. Now, where does this take us? Well, what you've seen on the front part, we can do on every single outer part. 60% of all auto appraisals are restricted to outer parts. 20% are total loss, which is essentially a question of overall damage severity. So we've reached a turning point. With this technology, we can now cover 
80% of all cases. So who is going to benefit from this technology? Well, our answer and our mission is very clear. We think this technology can support everyone in the collision ecosystem, whether you're an insurer, a body shop, uh, a salvage yard, um, you know, an appraiser. We think that there is a number of use cases where this technology will bring uh, value and, and, and benefit to you. Let's start with body shops and insurers. You know, obviously shops and insurers do not always agree. You know, one side thinks that a panel can be repaired, another side thinks that a panel should be re replaced, and you get bogged down into constant back and forth that can go on for, for days. Nobody wants that. Everybody wants fast throughput, rapid claim settlement, and trust. Well, we think REI can do that for you. The big problem is the lack of industry standard for visual rule. So here is the big idea. What if shops and insurers would come together around the table, agree on those visual rules? Once this AI has been trained on millions of examples, it will apply the same rule consistently and objectively. You can then use it to make sure that there is fast approval, no more disagreement, no more delays in the approval of the estimate. But it doesn't stop here. There are a number of other use cases. You could use this technology to direct an insured repairs to your shop. You could use this technology to triage a car at first notice of loss between a total loss and a repairable car. You can use it to give some advice to the, to the driver right after an accident to decide on whether he should file for a claim based on his access. You can order parts very early on in the process. So there's a number of use cases that can be put to good use with this technology. The end vision is to put this technology in the hand of the driver, the end consumer. There is a lot of excitement in the US from insurance companies in particular about photo-based estimating. You get damage to your car, you take a few photos, it's sent to the insurance company, an expert then review the photos from a desk computer and produces an estimate. Compared to more traditional methods, like field appraisal, you get your estimate in a day rather than a week. It's nice. But what if you'd get this estimate in a few minutes? Imagine the customer experience. I have an accident, I take a few photos, I send them to this AI, it goes through all the photos, produces an assessment of the cost, runs anti-fraud checks, and if they pass, the AI settles the claims cash. Claim settlement in minutes. We think this will transform auto insurance. This is a journey that's only starting. If you're interested, please come and talk to us, Proof 1839.